Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am here to chat about fragrances, okay? And we got a lot to talk about. This video was requested. You guys wanted to see an updated top suite fragrances and that is what I'm here to give you guys. Some of the most delicious, decadent fragrances you will ever come across. And I'm so excited for this one because I have one particular scent that's actually super new to my channel and it was love at first sniff. I promise you, if you wanna smell like a snack, this is the scent that you need in your life. So all the fragrances that I talk about will be listed down in the description box through Twisted Lily's website. I'm super excited to say that I am now one of their affiliates. And guys, you can use my code to get 10% off your order, okay? I'm talking anything you order off of that site, you can get 10% off. They have so many incredible different um, niche brands to select from. And um, I'm so, so happy that I can bring to you guys a code. Now the link, I definitely do make a little commission off of it. So thank you in advance for those of you who use the link and it's a great way for you to save some, some money. It's 10% off and you know how niche fragrances can get way up there. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get into this video. Today we're talking about Lira. Oh, honey, this fragrance right here is a whole vanilla cake in a bottle. It is delicious, divine, and decadent. So it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't talk about the bottle. You guys know that I am crazy about packaging. Now, when I looked at this bottle, I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna admit it's not my favorite. It's very different. It's very out there. I'll give you guys a quick little close up of that bottle, and that's what it looks like there. But when I sprayed this fragrance, oh, I was taken back. This is how a gourmand fragrance is supposed to be. It is everything you need it to be. So it's, it's sweet. There's a little bit of a citrusy tone to balance that sweetness off. It's a little spicy, it's warm, but all of that is intertwined and creates this very smooth fragrance that just smells absolutely delicious. There are incredible notes in the opening, like the bergamot, but in the dry down, we have the vanilla in there, we have some cinnamon in there, we have musk in here too. Oh my God, it's so delicious. It smells like a delicious dessert, but in a fragrance way. You know what I'm saying? It's just really hard to describe, but I am just so captivated and so in love with this scent. When you first spray it, you will get this very burst of citrus tones. You're gonna get like a orangey tone. You're gonna get that bergamot, bergamot tone in here. And within seconds, that starts to subside and that cinnamon note really pulls through and you get that spiciness. The vanilla comes through and it's just like this gorgeous, sweet, spicy, warm scent that still is fresh. I don't find it heavy and coiling at all. I find it super, super wearable. And even though we are going into spring, summer, I can still see myself wearing this because I don't find it overwhelmingly sweet. Oh, it is so delicious. It is so delicious. I love how smooth this fragrance is and it smells gorgeous. Now, this is definitely a female fragrance in my opinion. It pulls quite feminine. Um, again, if you love your gourmand fragrances, if you love that spicy tone, that sweet element with that vanilla note, you are just going to be taken back by this scent. So the next fragrance that I have is from MFK. I actually have two fragrances to talk about, but the first one should not be news to you guys because I've been blabbing on about it so much, and that is Gentle Fluidity Gold. <sighs> this one, this one really took me back. Again, another stunning fragrance that I'm completely in love with. I think it's just one of the best MFK fragrances. I almost feel like this is taking over the place of Baccarat Rouge. I love it so much. It's very feminine to me. It's sweet. It has this stunning touch of vanilla. At the same time, it has this kind of like aromatic feel to it. 
Oh, I think it's the juniper berries that make this fragrance special. Um, I know there's amber in here, there's vanilla in here, so it's definitely more of a warm fragrance, but very light. It's not heavy. It's super approachable and just elegant on its own. I think this would be the most spectacular signature scent. Uh, in the opening, it has a gorgeous sillage. Like for me, this one can last me uh, about an hour with the sillage. Uh, the long lasting ability is great, but it does become a little closer to the skin. So I can kind of overspray this one if I want it to be a little louder. But the scent alone to me is just elegance. Like when you think of Christian Dior J'adore, okay? You think of that fragrance, it's elegant, but it's a little bit more on the mature side. This is like a more modern version. It's elegance, it's mature, but in the most modern way. It is a lady in a bottle. It's elegant, it's sophisticated, very refined. Again, super approachable, easily an all year round type of fragrance. Even though it does have a warmth to it, it's not super heavy to the point that you can't wear this during the hotter months because there's something about this that has this airy light fresh quality and if you were contemplating gentle fluidity gold i would say go for it to me this is almost a safe blind buy it smells incredible i'm holding Baccarat Rouge 540, but I would say the Extrait the Parfum is the most sweet one. I only have the original EDP, but I do have a sample of the Extrait the Parfum, and I find that one has more of a sweeter tone, that kind of marshmallow uh, tone that some people pick up in this one, I pick up in the Extrait the Parfum. So that is one that I definitely wanna add to my collection. I think it's just stunning. It's a beauty of a fragrance. I mean, we all know that Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP or the Extrait gets a lot of hype. And I will always stand by that hype because I think that these fragrances are just one of a kind. No matter how many dupes come out, nothing can compare to the original EDP or the Extrait. I think that they are just fantastic fragrances that anyone can wear and pull off because it literally just meshes with your personality. It meshes with the occasion, with your attire. It just flows beautifully. Um, this fragrance, I'm talking about the EDP. Oh man, it's divine. It's one of those fragrances that are really hard to describe in terms of what notes you're going to pick up. For me, it's more of a feeling when I wear this fragrance. Like when I describe Lyra, I'm getting all of those gorgeous gourmand tones. You know, I can I can pick them up. But with BR540, EDP or the Extrait the Parfum, I really cannot pinpoint every note that I am smelling. To me, it's a feeling. And the feeling that I get with this one is luxury. Okay, this is this fragrance makes me feel luxurious, sophisticated, elegant, and just really well put together. Next up, I have a fragrance that, I mean, it's been the love of my life for a while now. Ever since I got my nose on it, I talked your ears off about it. I gave it a little break, but she's back because I just, I love it. But I have the exclusive version. So that is Delina exclusive. And this one just has a more creamy, sweeter touch than the original Delina. I find the original one has a bit of a sharper, tardy, um, incense vibe. And this one is just like, ooh, it's like when you look at a beautiful cashmere sweater. It just feels stunning on the skin, right? This is what the exclusive does to me. It has that gorgeous creaminess. Oh, guys, this is stunning. It is so beautiful. I would definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. If you find the original Selena a little bit too tardy, the incense is a little bit too prominent for you, the exclusive is really going to be gorgeous. It still has the stunning rose notes that give it that beautiful quality to me. It's still a little spicy, 
but it's just a creamier version. It's really beautiful, very feminine, and just smells divine. The quality of the Parfum de Marly fragrances is honestly out of this world. I find that they last incredible. They smell absolutely stunning. They develop on the skin. The sillage is pretty loud and they are just compliment getters. Like no matter where I am, if I am wearing a Delina fragrance, um, <laughs> I'm gonna get questions. Next up, what would be a video without some Tom Ford, okay? You guys know that we are a lover of Tom Ford fragrances on this channel. And the one that has really just captured my attention so much is Tobacco Vanille. Like it took me a while to add this to my collection, but it is stunning. It is stunning, stunning, stunning fragrance. To me, Tobacco Vanille is a very luxurious, sweet, vanilla tobacco scent that to me screams femininity for sure but with this confidence okay you lack no confidence when you wear this one it is it's sweet it's warm it's a little woody there's this different vibe to it and i think it comes from the dried fruit notes that they have in the base because when you spray this one initially you are definitely gonna get all of the gorgeous notes of tonka bean vanilla amber you're gonna get that tobacco note but a very suave wearable tobacco note it's not aggressive to me at all and then you're gonna get this like dried fruit vibe and it just like, ugh, it just creates magic on the skin. It's still quite unique. It's not a fragrance that I can kind of think of another fragrance that smells similar to this one. It is straight up unique, but it smells divine. This is another one, like many that I am talking about, it's a compliment getter. I always get questions on this fragrance. Um, I always get compliments on this one. It really doesn't matter. It just smells good. It really does smell good. And this is one of the Tom Force that I have that really leaves a gorgeous trail, okay? Wherever you're walking around, the person is going to smell tobacco vanille on you and you are definitely going to get someone eyeing you or asking you a question about the scent. It's just divine. It's a little powdery in the dry down but not overly done because you guys know I cannot do super powdery scents. It just doesn't vibe with my skin. So it does have a little bit of this powderiness but it's very very subtle and super silky but it's that vanilla and it's that warmth of the tonka bean and that tobacco note in there that really shines and gives you magic. This scent over here, I love it more when I'm a bit dressed up, but I have worn it quite casually and it's totally fine. But when you are just a little bit more done up, it, it, it almost takes you to a whole other level. It is stunning for evenings, for date nights, for really dressy occasions. But again, you can wear it, you know, for like a brunch date. You're still a little bit dressed up, but like in a casual attire, jeans, blazer, a little tank top, something like that. It still goes with the flow, but I wouldn't necessarily wear this in like sweatpants. I just don't find it really captures the essence of tobacco vanille. This Next up, I have a fragrance from the house of Inisiu, and this is definitely an addictive uh, fragrance. It is just a stunning quality fragrance. And honestly, all of the scents that I've tried from the house of Inisiu have this beautiful quality, like super well balanced and well blended, like stunning, stunning fragrances that have a very intoxicating vibe to them. And this is side effect. First of all, the bottle is gorgeous. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I just love how it looks. It feels super heavy. So the quality is there. It has almost like this velvety feel also. Just everything about this is stunning. But this fragrance is, oh, it's to die for. This is a boozy like fragrance. It is sweet. It is warm. It's intoxicating. 
It's sexy and sensual. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so intoxicating. Just smelling it from here says everything about this scent. It is such a long lasting fragrance. You really do not have to overspray this. You don't have to top it up. On me, it lasts all day long and it just lingers and lingers and lingers. The sillage is pretty incredible. This is a very deep seductive scent. So I reserve it more for date nights or evening wear. It just has that sensuality to it that I don't think is great for every occasion. I mean, if that's your vibe, girl, you do you. But I reserve this more for evening time and also for date nights. It is stunning. It's super sweet to me, but it's done in the most stunning way. And the sweetness definitely comes from the, I think there is rum in this one because it does have like a sweet boozy element to this. It sort of reminds me of Killian's Angel Share, but it's a little smoother. It's a little smoother. It's really well-rounded and the um, booziness is not super prominent where it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. It's balanced off with all the other notes. I get touches of vanilla in here and oh, it's divine. There's like rum, vanilla, I think some kind of woody note and tobacco note in here, which might sound like it's going to be quite a masculine scent or an aggressive scent, but I honestly don't find it super aggressive. I don't find it masculine. I actually think that it leans a little bit more feminine but it's definitely a very um, confident fragrance. You can't be shy wearing this. It is potent. It is a heavier. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. I will do a part two with all of my sweet designer fragrances that I absolutely adore. I have so many of them, but I will link all of the perfumes that I talked about down below. Don't forget to use my discount code so you can get 10 percent off your orders and leave down below what is your favorite sweet fragrance can't wait to chat with you guys in the comment section and i will see you guys on the next video ciao